What's your age? I'm 22, turning 23 in June. Are you single? I am currently not single. I am taking almost two years. We're having issues right now, but that's none of anybody's business. What kind of problems do you feel like you're struggling with right now? Basically, just commitment. I want respect, and um, when I first started the relationship, I should have put down my boundaries. So what boundaries are you saying for? <laughs> we not going to skip over the fact that she said that's none of anybody's business, but proceeded to tell us the whole tea. No, that you didn't set forth in the beginning. No sex before marriage, no drinking, no smoking, you know, just following Jesus Christ. So before you were being active, no... I know she ain't used the Lord's name in vain. Now I ain't gonna get mad at you. If you wanna give your pussy a factory reset, that's on you. But don't expect me to walk down the customer service with you. Y'all get what I'm saying? You ever JJ might have ran out of space? The RAM ain't working right? You running out of memory? Whatever you need to factory reset that bad boy? That's cool. That's cool, but I'm not part of the IT department. You gonna have to find you a new man. Oh, you wanna be celibate? Yes, I do. I feel like you have to be celibate in this world because at the end of the day, all these Worldly guys are the same. They just want some pleasure, and at the end of the day, they just do what they want. They just want sex. But why should a man tolerate a woman who already is giving it up to him and then tolerate her saying no? If a man loves you unconditionally, like he says he does, he's in love with you, he would respect that. You know how many times my wife may have promised me some yams and did not come through on that promise? I ain't proud to say it, but it's beef after that. It's beef. It might sound childish. I ain't gonna lie. It might sound childish. If you promise me some cheeks, I go through the whole day thinking I'm finna get some cheeks. And then I get home and you hit me with some word gymnastics. I ain't, I ain't trying to hear that. No. Don't ask me to do nothing. And I definitely ain't trying to talk. My wife had this thing that she liked to talk. And she long-winded. She might text me like, oh, baby, I want you. Now, once you open that door, you can't close it. I'm sorry. So now I'm at work thinking what I'm finna do when I come home. I'm driving on the highway thinking what I'm finna do when I come home. I come home and we ain't finna do nothing. But then you want to talk to me about how your day went? Oh, come on now. <laughs> come on now, player. No, we, we ain't doing that. I say all that to say, at least I know either at the end of the week or at the end of the month, I'm going to get some cheeks. You Sullivan. So my man ain't getting no yams, no cheeks, nothing. Nah. I'm sorry, but you can't do that. Do you think size matters in a relationship? For it to last? Yes. I do. What size would you prefer? I mean, if I'm having somebody and every time he moves, if he's on top and it comes out. Mm -hmm. This is really in-depth. This then, is Yo. Oh, like, it's too light. After you slip out all the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can shout me out for error. Oh, I'd rather have it. That's your niece, right? Yeah. I'd rather have it. Wait, wait, wait. What? Wait. What do you mean by that? <laughs> do you think size matters? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What does he mean by that? I, <laughs> what does he mean by that? For real. Maybe we're reading it the wrong way. I do think he was feeling uncomfortable with the conversation and he was reminding her, your uncle is standing right here. I think that that's what that is. But he just said the wrong thing. Oh, get the fuck. I can't even say my favorite catchphrase no more. Usually, I'll see a white person doing this and I say, man, white folks are fearless. How, how did you get into this? Like, where is he from? I want to know his origin story. I make him sound like a villain, but I want to know his origin story. Like, when did you decide to start playing with snakes? And that ain't no regular snake. I think that's a cobra. And he calm as hell. Do you know one bite from that shit? He's, he's gone. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's curtains. What? Why don't you... ask me questions then if you don't got the time to listen, boy. You understand? Boy. You understand? Boy. I, well, you're acting like a child. Bro, How you're... old are you? 25? 22? 22? <laughs> Excuse me? You're, excuse you? See, you're acting offended just like a 40-year-old boy. Excuse me? I mean, I'm married to a man. And I don't f***ing act like that. People like you is what's wrong with this goddamn country. Because you don't know how to act. And because someone gets in front of you because they missed an exit, you want to take a picture. Well, uh -huh. this is what comes your way when you take the wrong person's picture. And so I'm guessing you followed him home? 
Bro, time out. I'm gonna make this short and sweet. I ain't gonna show it on, on camera because I don't want no problems with YouTube. But if you follow me home, bro, if you follow me home, I'm gonna do that to you. And then you talking crazy. Get the f bro, come on now. Listen, fellas, it's a lot of people out here that cross a lot of boundaries. It's a lot of people out here that are tough while they're inside their vehicle. That's what I'll say. I don't care how upset you get while you're on the road. You do not follow nobody home. It's a lot of y'all people that might have seen The Matrix and think that you kneel. You not the one. What's the most expensive gift you got or what's the most a man has tricked on you? Like, here you go, boom. The last time I saw I saw for 3500 And then the meeting lasts about 15 minutes. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. 3500 for 15 minutes? But you know what? Ooh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm low key finna snitch on myself. I have seen some of her work. I have seen some of her work, and um, let's continue watching the video. And he had to go back to work. That's a stain. Go ahead. That's a crazy. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Save up for like. Man said, did he save up for it? He was a construction, he was like a construction worker. Like he, I don't know what he did, but it was like something in construction. So he just took a break and then came to do that and then went back to work. I'm not going to say he was broke. He had money, but it was just like, I got a little bit of time to da 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 and then yeah. <laughs> Fellas, are you paying 3500 for some? I ain't going to lie. I'm too cheap for that. I don't feel as though I can do that, even if I had money. If you think about it, we pay for coochie now. You know, if you're in a relationship, you got to take your girl out on a date. It's certain things that my wife be asking me to do. I don't be in the mood to do it, but... I got to secure the cheeks. I know it's about 25,000 of you guys that watch these videos that still haven't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Come on now, we almost at 100K, man. We almost at 100K. And follow me on the gram. Follow me on Instagram. I was doing a video and I got a text from James and it said, can you pay the bills with your credit card? And so I, I said, um, dot, 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 and I didn't answer. So later on that day, after I've done what all the stuff I need to do and go pick up the kids, I came back, I said, did you just ask me to pay the bills with my credit card? He said, yeah, the one from my bank with your name on it. Because I had forgot that he got another bank account and put my name on it. Uh, he gave me a credit card to his account. And I'm like... Bro, 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 hold on, bro. I'm, I haven't done this in a while, but I, I need to because I don't think y'all understand what's going on right there. I haven't done this in a while, but I need to, dog. Oh my god. Too. I haven't, I'm definitely getting rusty. She had to raise her eyebrows because her man asked her to pay the bills with her credit card. <laughs> I thought marriage was supposed to be a partnership. That I was thinking when I asked that, I was like, did you think I mean with your own money? And I was like, oh, that's what you would ask because you said my credit card. And he was like, oh, I know better than that. I seen in the comment section, it said that, that her and her husband been together for 20 years. I don't want to knock what works for people, but that wouldn't work for me. Because I would feel as though it's not a partnership. I would feel as though you're taking advantage of me. The crazy thing is he was asking for her to use her credit card that's connected to his bank account. So it was still his money. But the thought of spending her own money was a problem. A lot of these videos we see online don't represent all women. And I think that's why it gets upsetting to me. Because I know for sure that my wife wouldn't be on no type of time like that. My wife would pay the bill without no questions asked. Now, if she, does, if she doesn't have it, she'll be like, baby, I don't have it, but we'll figure something out. Because we have been in that situation before. And again, I don't want to knock nobody's situation, man. If James been dealing with that for 20 years, it's working for James, okay? It just wouldn't work for me. She plugged in her son's phone. Her face was his screensaver on the phone and it was a picture that she had taken of herself and she started digging i went through his text messages because that was the first thing that i thought 
and her name was saved in his phone as mommy. And it's a bunch of I love yous and what are you wearing? She shared pictures of much of the concerning conversation between her son and the 24-year-old worker and pictures like this one. That's not a picture that you send to a 10-year-old. That's a picture that you send to your man. She said the worker bought her son clothes, shoes, and even a gold chain. And Grace said when investigators came to her apartment, a Department of Family and Children's Services worker got her 10-year-old to reveal more. He did say that this is... Yo, now, nah, hold on, 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 hold on. A 24-year-old woman messing with a 10-year-old boy is crazy. I'm thinking of myself as a 10-year-old boy. Nah, son. She's she's sick in the head. It's a lot of grown men running around here that would take her down. And she's going after a 10-year-old boy. That's sick. The incident where she was rubbing his leg happened on the way back from the field trip. We aren't using the worker's name or face because she is yet to be charged. And that's why Grace is outraged. How she not? Had it been a situation where it was a little um, girl. And a, and a man, a yes. Woman, and a grown, grown man. man. They would have locked him up yes. on the spot. Yes. With no questions until he was proven innocent. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. When I speak to my friends, we do say toxic. Like, bro, all these teachers running around here doing all this. Where was these teachers at when we was in high school? I'm not going to sugarcoat that we have had these conversations. It's fun to talk about. You know, we be saying, damn, these young boys is out here snitching. They built differently. But to be quite honest with you, and I'm being real honest with you, I don't know how messing with a grown woman as a teenager would have affected me as an adult. I mean, I've messed with women way older than me, but that was after I was an adult. Like, I'm at, I'm 21, 22. Hey, I felt like the man. Well, then again, it still has affected. This dipping into something else, but when you think about it, right? When you mess with a woman close to your parents' age who's married and she's cheating on her husband with you, it do give you PTSD. You do get the feeling that, damn, even when I'm grown, I have to worry about my woman cheating. So that's why I would tell you, don't mess with nobody's significant other. Be the bigger person. You see what I'm saying? This this what I be talking about right here. Where? Jesus, Lord. Where y'all be finding these videos from to send me, bro? Where y'all be finding these videos from to send me? She, you know, she she eat all her, her, her vegetables. All right? The most simplest NY unwritten rule. That happens girl, daily. Quick, bro. My phone? I don't know, bro. Y'all, I don't know about that game. I don't know. So, bro, let me see it real quick, bro. Like, I'm not. I'm gonna give it back to you, bro. Come on. No, bro. Give it back to me right after, bro. Bugging. Yeah. Never. Dude, this the new fifteen. Never. Came out yet? Yeah, facts. I got it yesterday. Hope you still got the same phone you had yesterday, though. Same thing in the fourth. What, what you think about that? Don't try nothing dumb. Because my phone now don't try nothing dumb. Let me tell y'all something. I did an interview yesterday and I was talking about things that we dealt with in New York that have given us PTSD. And this is one of those situations. I don't know how NY is now, but I remember growing up in the 2000s. You either had folks that used to ask to use your phone or they'd ask you for a dollar. If you was walking in the subway station and somebody asked you for a dollar, off rip, I don't got it. Because all he wants to know is if you have money in your wallet. If you have any type of money on you. The moment you give that dollar, your pocket's getting ran. I remember back in the day, mother used to rob people for their Game Boy Colors, right? Y'all remember the Game Boy Color? You was getting robbed for your PSP. You was getting robbed for your Psychic 3s. Let me not, bro, let me not talk about the Psychic 3s. When Psychic 3s came out, it don't matter who you was. Girls, little kids, grown-ass people was getting washed up on the bus for their Psychic 3s. Do you want to eat dinner out here with me? I do not, know. Okay. But I will. So you say you don't want to? Yeah, but when you ask me what I want, I'm going to give you an honest answer. It doesn't mean I'm not willing to prioritize you over my own wants and desires. But if you ask me a question, I'm going to give you my honest answer. So no, it's cold. My toesies are cold. I don't want to eat supper right here. But you do. So I will go put on a warm pair of socks. I will warm up some soup for us. And we will sit here and we will watch the sunset. And we will be in love. Do you want This is what I was talking about earlier. You know how many times my wife has asked me to do things that I did not want to do? But to keep the peace... 
I just go along with it. Do I want to do it? No. This is exactly what marriage is. This is what marriage is. I know some of y'all boys would not understand that, but marriage is about sacrifice, bro. Somebody going to come out and say, you sound like a simp. Happy wife, happy life. Now, don't sleep. I do have my boundaries, and I do have days where I put my foot down and say no. But at the same time, I'm going to break it down to you like this, bro. A lot of women have an emotional cup that needs to be filled. So if you want something out of her, you have to fill that cup. Doing unnecessary ish, like sitting out in the damn cold because she wants to watch the sunset, is one way of filling that cup. If you want them yams tonight, you got to start seasoning it in the morning. You got to make her feel special. You got to carry a conversation. She want to talk, go ahead and talk to her. You got to make sure that her emotional cup is filled in order for you to get what you want out of her. That is the give and take. Just like just like as a man, you want her to make sure you feel like a man. Make sure you feeling like a king. Feed your ego. If you in a relationship with a woman that does not feed your ego, that's a relationship doomed for failure. Alright, so I had to bring wifey to look at this video with me. Mm. Looks so good. Thank you, husband. Thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, oh Lord! Oh my God! Oh, what? 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 <laughs> what? I want to slide off you. Position oh. yourself accordingly. Oh, no, you wasn't finna slide. I, I got you. Mhm. Mm I got you. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Are you ready? Oh, this is psychedelic leather. Oh. Uh, stop touching. Playboy. Just, 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 just. They ain't had no black Playboy bunny. Burn her brown. Tan her. All right, listen, Rosa Parks. We. <laughs> that's not what you came here for. Just uh, look at this video, okay? <laughs> okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get it right quick. <clears throat> My bad. You gonna make the screen wider? It gotta be wider. I would prefer it to be. If you Push your edge. See, I don't wanna mess nothing up. Okay, don't mess it up. Put it now back. you good, you good, you good, you good. Alright, come on. Come on. <clears throat> Supposed to start right here. Uh -oh. It had me. Alright, yeah, this is the good This is the right one. Okay. Alright, let's start. This way. Okay, be careful with that fire now. Okay. Alright, ready? Mm hmm. What's your age? I'm 22, turning 23 in June. Are you single? I am currently not single. I am taking almost two years. We're having issues right now, but. That's none of anybody's business. So what why are you mentioning it? So you like I said right that. Now? Basically, just commitment. I want respect. And um, when I first started the relationship, I should have put down my boundaries. So what boundaries are you saying? I'm not going to skip over the fact that she said that's not... Come on, Cardi B. Oh, Come on, Cardi B. Hold on, bro. Oh, you want the full video to play with that? Yeah, it's like, it's, it's starting over. It shouldn't be starting over. Uh-oh. Hold on, come here. I'm Nah, I mean, we started from right here. Okay. Fuck. Alright. We just gotta start it from right here. What's your age? I'm 22, turning 23 in June. Are you single? I am currently not single. I am taking almost two years. We're having issues right now, but that's none of anybody's business. What kind of problems do you feel like you're struggling with right now? Basically, just commitment. I want respect, and um, when I first started the relationship, I should have put down my boundaries. So what boundaries are you setting forth now that you didn't set forth in the beginning? No sex before marriage, no drinking, no smoking, you know, just following Jesus Christ. So before <laughs> you were a new man? being active, now you want to be celibate. Yes, I do. I feel like you have to be celibate in this world because... At the end of the day, all these worldly guys are the same. They just want some pleasure, and at the end of the day, they just do what they want. They just want sex. But why should a man tolerate a woman who already is giving it up to him and then tolerate her saying no? If a man loves you unconditionally, like he says he does, he's in love with you, he would respect that. But he already cheated on you, so clearly there's... 
a high lack of respect. And if you're going to be celibate, you got to get a whole new man. You can't decide to be celibate in the middle of a relationship with the same person. I am so happy you said that. Thank you. Oh. Oh, you was ready for war, huh? Yeah, I was ready for war. I ain't going to lie. I thought... <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I was ready for war. I thought you was gonna come down here on some bullshit. <laughs> First of all, I need you to have more faith in me. But there was many fallacies in what she said. Like she said, commitment. That means her man already cheating on her, which means like he has an issue with getting his needs fulfilled. Facts. I didn't even. I didn't even pay attention to that. That's and then fact. you're gonna withhold sex from him. Facts. Off that alone, though, he need to go. He got commit. He's been cheating on your ass. And you talk about not having sex with him is not going to make him stay with you. So that doesn't make any sense. Like, logically, you know, putting two and two together, no equal fours. It's getting zero. Maybe one, you know. But, you know, I was thinking about two. I feel like, I know, we from New York, right? Yeah. So listening to her talk, we used to hearing Latino women talk like that, right? Yeah, but I not, feel like... she's not from New York. You can tell no, I know she's she not from New York, but I'm saying, like, I feel like Cardi B opened up a lane for, like, Hispanic women in terms of, like, say somebody in Wisconsin who don't... who not exposed to a lot of Latin or Hispanic women, yeah. and they love her accent. Yeah. Just like Beyonce started doing country music, open the door for other black country artists, I yeah. feel like Latin women that wasn't getting seen before... Mm. Now that's a, a fucking attribute, something that they look at as sexy. You know, like, oh, I didn't know that Latina's accents were so sexy, but oh my God, I like it because I hear Cardi B. So say somebody talk to her. I, oh, I ain't gonna lie. I, that, that's, that might be something new for you. What you mean? I think Hispanic women, their accents been... No. What you, I said like somebody from Wisconsin. Oh, or like who's who just never... Who's never heard, yeah. Okay, I got A Latin I, I woman I or, you know, a Latin woman talk in person. Yeah, I or, you, you know what I'm saying? So Cardi B, you know, she's well known. She's a yeah. worldwide known artist. So it's just like, oh my God, I could get somebody to talk like Cardi B every day. What a turn on. So I'm saying like, you know how women always want to like set themselves apart, stand out? It's yeah. like now, oh... I got that Latino flair, and when they hear me speak now, it's another, you know. I'm trying to see where you're going with it. Oh, it's like another, like, um, dang. I've been stressed today, my words, but like. Yeah, man, you, you, you. Another, like, sex appeal or something else to add to my roster of being, like, attractive without being sexual. Just, like, just hearing me talk, he's aroused. Or he's like, oh, yes, you sound like Cardi B. Whereas before, like, a dude might not have known that he wanted to date a girl with an accent. With a Spanish accent. Alright. Um, you don't get what I'm saying? No. I, I'm going to keep it 100. I, I, I don't okay, so saying. say we live in Wisconsin. We're white and we live in Wisconsin, right? Okay. And we've never met any Hispanics or Latinos. Or the Latinos that we've seen or heard on TV, they, um, they talk white. They don't let their true accents come out. The only like Latin person I know on TV that sound white is freaking what's the dude that plays Slater from from uh, Saved by the Bell? Exactly. Where old Mario Lopez? Exactly. Okay, Mario Lopez, right? But most Hispanic people sound Hispanic. If you watch the news, right? Hispanic women that are on that newscasters, they don't use their actual accent. They have like a neutral tone. Say you don't watch a lot of shows that have Spanish people okay. who speak their natural accent. But then they hear Cardi B. Okay. And they're like, oh, I love her accent. Oh, my God. Then say these people who love Cardi B accent, these men, right? They go to Miami. And they're on vacation in Miami. Okay. And then they see a beautiful woman, you know, that look, that look like that lady. Okay. And then they say hello. And then she said hi. And they like, oh my God. You just got 10 times sexier because you sound like Cardi B. But babe. Babe. I want you to, I, I, just hear me out. Men been chasing the Hispanic women. Accent or no accent. But, but usually it's for the accent. It's That's like having a foreign car. What I'm saying is there's certain men that wasn't exposed to Spanish woman's accent. But they been was finding them sexy. I work with, like you said, Wisconsin. I, hold, hold, hold. You see how you, you pulled out Wisconsin just now? Yes. I work with men who, they like, they transferred from, like, Minnesota and places like that. 
and they they love Hispanic women too. And Minnesota ain't got it's never cold and horses and and all types of nonsense. They're not exposed to Hispanic women like that, but they love Hispanic women too. I feel as though like in a people who people who aren't around Hispanic women but see them on TV or see them, they are naturally attracted to them. That's my point. I was just saying, like Cardi B has had global reach, and not a lot of other Hispanic women have. You giving you giving Cardi B too much, because we had J Lo before. J Lo don't speak. She don't have a Latino accent. Yes, she does. Okay. Yes, she does. Okay, Jenny from the block. Okay, it's not like Cardi B's. It's not like authentic. J Lo accent is. Why Jennifer Lopez always get? I don't have anything against J Lo's accent. I don't have anything against J Lo, but bitch, she don't have no genuine n- d- Puerto Rican, Dominican, Hispanic accent. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. We gonna stop. Oh my god. Sending shade. She Listen, just catching strays for no, no reason. To your point about J Lo, though, even though she's a Hispanic woman and she's listening, you know, she put in Hollywood. Big butts on the map. She did, and that's my another to my point. Like maybe men didn't know, like in person, they didn't like mean? big butts. This is when I shh, for a second, for a second, I'm saying like you got to understand some men. All they saw was like the flat stomach and the big titties, right? W- with white women, and they like, oh, you know, that's what I like. That's what I was trained to like. And then they see Boombastic J Lo, and they like, oh, Boom I'm gonna. Box. Well, you know, boom, boss, big booty, J-Lo. And they're like, I think I want to pursue a woman with a big butt because I want to experience that in person. So now they start, like, broadening their horizon on the type of woman they want to date. And then it's like, Spanish girls, white girls, black girls, they looking at ass now. Not just on the Spanish woman, but they looking at all big booties. Like, I want to experience that. As to before, when they didn't see it on J-Lo, they were like, mm, I'm just going to do the beach blonde and big boots, but... Now that I'm thinking that Versace dress, I want to um, experience something similar. All right. Can I? You ready for me? I'm ready for you. Yeah, Selena. Yes. You had Salma Hyde. You don't understand what I'm saying. Selma Hyde, she she still comes Selma through Hyde with is, her Latin flair. No, she Selma Hyde is half Middle Eastern. She don't have a Spanish accent. Yes, she does. She does have a Spanish accent, but it's different levels. Like, that girl sound like Cardi B. Salma Hayek does not sound like Cardi B. She has more like a sultry. You got the girl from um, that show. Um, she's so funny and quirky. It, it comes on TNT. But I forgot her name right now. But, like, it's all they have separate eras. The people you're talking about... Selma Hayek. Some people younger than us, they might not know about Selma Hayek. Okay. People younger than us, they might not know about Selena. The okay. people younger than us, they barely know about fucking J-Lo. So right. I'm saying, like, in this time, okay. Cardi B is, like, giving them exposure. Giving, like, Latina sounds exposure to people who may not have heard or seen, like, a lot of Latina women and now they're, like, attracted. People... That are younger than us, not in our age range, who do not do research, which is not far fetched because we live in an age where people don't do a lot of research. So they might not know about those artists. But then they have Cardi and they're like, oh, I think I would like to like date or talk to a woman that sounds like her because I find that very attractive. As opposed to, I don't know, them actually meeting them in person way later on in life and then they're like, oh, I do like it. Now they've been exposed to more culture, another sound, another attribute that they find attractive that they look for in a woman. I feel as though we we can agree to disagree. I I don't I wouldn't give Cardi B that much credit when it comes to people wanting Hispanic women. I'm saying their accents, not just wanting. Yeah, them. even their accents. Like I, even their accents. I feel as though I wouldn't give Cardi B that much credit. To be honest, that's that's just my opinion. You're you're you have your opinion. I have my opinion. Because as a man, I know for sure Hispanic women have been like a. A sort after thing. But I didn't say years. they weren't. I didn't never said they weren't sought after. I just said like for people who were not exposed to Spanish women, Hispanic women in particular, because Cardi B is like a world renowned artist and she's popular at this time, she has exposed possibly more people of a younger age to that demographic. And now they are more open or more intrigued to like pursue date entertain Latin women. Not only because of how they look, but how they speak as well. 
Like maybe before, like hearing Cardi B, they'd be like, "Oh, that girl, like, she's not articulate. Like, what's what's going on? Like, mm, I don't know." But now it's like, "Oh, oh yeah, it's one of my fantasies is to like talk to a girl that sound like Cardi B." Okay. I mean, she just sounds like she's from the Bronx. Exactly. But there are a lot of people that well, never we been... we sound like we from New York. And I said... When I first started this conversation, I said, we from New York. Okay. So we used to hearing different accents, different sounds from Puerto Ricans, Dominicans. Okay. Dominican mixed with Brooklyn, Puerto Rican mixed with... We used to that. Okay. But just like somebody starts speaking French or like Idris Alba has like a French accent when he want to use it. Right. That could be like... A aphrodisiac, like her accent is now like an aphrodisiac to certain people when it wasn't before. It's very, it's not only is it palatable, but it's desirable to some. All right, all right. When Cardi B first came out, a lot of people, you know, they thought like she was stupid, she was dumb, she couldn't, because um, Spanish is her, I mean, English is her second language, you know okay. what I'm saying? But now it's because she's just so well received and well loved. It's like, oh my God, she speaking broken English just like Cardi B. I love it. Mm. On top of her being like Latin, like yes. When I, you know, when we get to do the nasty, I'm gonna have her say some shit I want Cardi B to say to me. But that's what niggas want Spanish bitches for. Okay, but there are different accents of Spanish women. What? Cause honestly, Spanish women that from like straight from Hispanic countries, they they have. I like their accents. Like I like that accent more than I like. Spanish women that sound like they from Brooklyn, like who are raised in Brooklyn. Okay, but every Spanish country, they have a different accent. Like Colombians yes, have a different. Yes, they have a different Spanish. accent. Mexicans yes, have a different. Yes, way yes, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Right, and so Cardi B has about? a different accent. She has like the Bronx broken English accent, which was not popularized on a major level until she came on the scene. Son, hold on. What's Shorty from? He got game. What's her name? Rosie Perez. Cardi B don't sound like Rosie Perez. Yo, Rosie Perez is straight Hispanic Bronx. But she does not. They don't sound the same. Her voice is... Mia! Doki! 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 Mookie! You can't have a Mookie! Mookie, why you don't come home, Mookie? Cardi B don't sound like her octave. It's not... It's not how like that. She does... Cardi acts like that when she want to be funny, but... When she talking, yo, yo, da, da, I can't even talk like Cardi B. But she don't sound like uh, Rosie. Rosie's, she sound like a little mouse. Like a Spanish mouse. <laughs> Cardi B don't sound like no mouse. You just proved my point. We saying the same thing. This whole no, time. No, we're not saying the same okay, thing. Okay, well, I'm tired. So. I'm tired too. I don't right. even see why we start talking about that. I was just making like, it was supposed to be like a highlight. Like, ooh, I, I noticed something as she was talking. But then you had to find something to like discuss. Because we couldn't discuss the whole Situation about celibacy because I agree with you. So because you was ready to fight, you found something to fight about. No, 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 the, no, the fuck I was not trying. That's to the fight. intention that you That's, said. Oh so you God. fulfilled Yo, that intention. You proud word, of yourself? I, them word gymnastics is crazy. Come you on. proud of yourself? No, leave my wall, leave my leave my lighter down here, please. Where's that, the thing? No, them word gymnastics is crazy. It's on the floor. Go. Them word gymnastics I is crazy. Them, them word gymnastics is crazy. You just you just here talking. How I got on your nerves? I ain't get on your nerves. I <laughs> Cardi B ain't put Spanish bitches on the map. I did, I said her particular accent. God, fucking Lee. Yo, between you and your son. Don't do that. Don't speak to me. You don't do that. Me for the rest of the night. Don't do I'm that. I'm out. Bye. I clock my shift out. Give me my, give me my stuff. Yo, why you throwing? My damn nerves. Ain't here talking about... Cardi, Cardi B ain't putting no Spanish bitches on the map. You feel what I'm saying? We not gonna do that. You have Selena. You have um 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 uh Selma Hyatt, right? You had what Shorty was in Hitch. You had Shorty I was in Hitch. Uh, even um the, the lady that was in uh that's in Fast and Furious. I forgot her name. I can't think of her name. You got you had her. We not finna do that. No, no offense to Cardi B. We not gonna do that. And then you had J-Lo, like, and to be honest with you, I don't know no nigga that don't want some Spanish p None. And this was going around before Cardi B. This was going around, this was going on way before Cardi B came out. We not finna do that. She just wanted to pull some bullshit out of her ass. That's all that was. 
I don't know what she noticed. I ain't noticed it. That's how I feel about that.